Today we're going to look at using MirrorLine to, to create a symmetrical object. So this time we're going to use are going to create a gear. It's a non-standard gear, it's something that I measured from out of a coffee machine that broke, and we're just going to try and simulate it and make something look the same. So we'll start with our sketch, plan view. The gear itself has an outside diameter of 17 millimeters and a root diameter of 11 and a half. So we'll start with spacebar 11.5. And the same again, spacebar 17. So there we have the root diameter and the outside diameter of the actual gear. The After measuring it carefully, it's quite a small gear. There's 12 teeth, um, 1.8 millimeter tooth width. The actual crown of the tooth is a millimeter wide. So we'll make an attempt to create it. So we start up here with a construction line and we can have snap to grid on for that one and we'll draw a construction line down the middle of the object. Zoom in, click on, do a right click on our and construction line and set it as a mirror line. Now we're going to create some objects just to help us form our tooth. As I said the tooth was 1.8 millimeters wide and um, it's, it formed, it had vertical, it was a straight cut tooth so it's, it's a non-standard tooth. If you want to have precise gears, you can actually download models from the 3D downloader and then copy them into your projects to have accurate gears. So we'll start by drawing from about half height because it's only fairly rough. We'll draw a box. If we get our box tool first. Undo that one, grab a box to half height, and we'll draw a box, get our space bar, and it wants to be 0.9 millimeters wide, and just a little bit below the, the root diameter of the gear. Also the crown of the tooth, can zoom right in on this one is one millimeter, so half of that's 0.5. If we get the right tool, it helps. Line tool, snap it across to there, push a space bar, and we'll make that. 0.5. Now that sort of forms a rough guide for the shape of our tooth. So what we're going to do now is draw the sh shape of the tooth to fit those coordinates around here. Now that we've got our guide objects drawn in, we'll grab our spine tool, start at the top of this line for the crown of the tooth and we'll try and work out a rough curve down to the top of our guide box here. Follow the guide box down and then we'll just create a radius at the bottom of the tooth. If 
finish the double click. Now we've got a fairly wonky looking shape here. So we'll grab our select tool, we'll zoom in, and turn it into a reasonable shape. So it's just a matter of getting a nice curve. The reason why we finish with the line below the line is so that when we actually form the tooth, it it um, forms a nice solid. So it's just a matter of a bit of practice. You can tweak these points, the position of the points, so you get a nice curve. Fits our objects. Zooming enough to see the whole shape. That's, that looks like a reasonable shape. Tooth it might be a little bit big up here, so we'll just pull this in a bit. And out a little bit here. Right, so that looks like a reasonably shaped tooth now. <coughs> Now that we've got our tooth shape drawn, we can get rid of our guide objects that we don't need. First of all, we don't need this outer circle. We'll get rid of that. Um, the box here, we don't need that. So let's have a look. The circle, we keep that. The construction line, we don't need that anymore. We can get rid of that. This line here, we don't need that. The two lines at the top and the two spines are all we need for our tooth. Now, if we go to our mode and Can see our view our object. We can now pull that. Into a single toothed object. So go in there, we'll make that one with six mils. There's our single toothed object. So if we square that back up. At the front of it, we no longer need any of these curves, some curves, so we can get rid of that. So we've got one solid object. Now, the next process if we grab our move tool, grab our whole object, drag the center of that down on the center point here. If we go over and create a pattern, so we click on that one there, we grab our rotation tool, we'll move it around until we get to see some multiple objects, push the space bar, push tab, tab around. We had 12 teeth in this one, so we key 12 in, tab again, and there's our object created.
So all we need to do now is to get our select tool again. We'll grab our draw mark here around our object, get the whole unit, Com press our combine tool here. It's now combined it into an object. We can go over to our structure and click on the pattern and delete that because that's only going to cause problems. You don't need it anymore. So there's our our gear. And all we've got left to do is to put a six mil hole in it. Grab our pull tool, grab our object there, and just pull it through. Select tool. And there is our little gear. So I hope that was some sort of help using the mirror line tool, which is under your right mouse button, to create a symmetrical object for a tooth of a gear or something similar.